What's up, Ports fans? We are back with another edition of Docking with the Ports Post Game Recap with Iron Michael Taylor. Final score tonight from Banner Island Ballpark was 5-3 Ports over the 66ers. It was a sweep. Great win all around the board. Colin, what was your final take on it? Well, sixth time that the uh, Ports have actually swept an opponent, and they returned the favor from last weekend. Inland Empire, who's only got a better record than Modesto this year, uh, took three out of four from Stockton as they went down there and traveled on the road tonight. Uh, it was Jake Sanchez taking the start. It was been kind of a weird week for starting pitching for the Ports. Monday night, scheduled starter Chris Lamb uh, called up to Sacramento to help fill in up there. And then, of course, last night we had the Seth Strike uh, got one out in the first inning only and was lifted with an injury. The update we have on that is not really much to say. Uh, he's scheduled to miss his next start. Uh, beyond that, we don't really have any information, so we'll hope for the best there. Anyway, Jake Sanchez tonight takes the mound. Uh, seven innings, gave up seven hits, just two earned runs, didn't walk anybody. In fact, Port's pitching staff did not walk a batter tonight, which was very nice. Uh, seven strikeouts. Chris Lamb, Monday scheduled starter, came in to pitch an inning, gave up two hits, uh, no runs, and Austin House shut the door in the ninth, pick up his 14th save, struck out two uh, in a perfect ninth. And again, no walks. Uh, for the Ports pitching staff. That's not the first time that's happened this year. Offensively, the big hit was from Ryan Healy, his 14th home run, a grand slam. Uh, Zeke DeVos, Daniel Robertson, and Matt Olson all one for three tonight. Olson taking a rare turn in right field, as a matter of fact. Renato Nunez, two for four. Chad Pinder also with a hit. But again, the big hit, Ryan Healy, and I believe you had a chance to talk to, or actually Matt had a chance to talk to Ryan Healy after the game. Matt is back. Here's what uh, Ryan Healy had to say. I'm here with Ryan Healy. Ryan, had, you had a couple of hits tonight, including a grand slam in the first. How did it feel to contribute in such a good way? You know, it's always awesome, awesome coming out here and helping your team win. Uh, you know, we had eight hits today, and we were swinging the bats really well. And, you know, hats off to Jake Sanchez for the way through the, uh, through the ball tonight. And uh, that's a sweep of Inland, 66ers. You're off to San Jose. What are you guys going to do to keep the streak going? We'll take it one day at a time. We're going to the dog days of August, so, you know, keep our heads up and keep playing hard and, you know, let the game take care of itself. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks for that, Matt, and thanks for that, Ryan. Some numbers to go through. Right now, the Ports uh, improved to 36 and 20. That's a league best uh, home record. 25 and 14 in the second half. Also, California league best and 62 and 47 overall. Uh, back to 15 games over 500 after finishing up this homestand 5 and 2. Maintained a two-game lead in the North Division. Uh, second half, San Jose beat Modesto tonight 8 to 4. Uh, so they are just the two games behind the Ports. Modesto drops to 33 and 76. They have a legitimate shot to lose 100 games this year, and that's quite a feat in just a 140 game season. Last we checked, Visalia was tied with Bakersfield going into the bottom of the seventh. Now the Ports will play the next 14 of the next 18 games against either San Jose or Visalia. The three teams, Stockton, Visalia, and San Jose will be fighting for the final two playoff spots. There's a month left in the season and these next two and a half weeks will go a long way towards deciding who ends up going to the playoffs. And of course, we hope it's the Ports. They head out on the road down to San Jose for four, come back on Monday, and what can we expect in this next homestand, Taylor? Yeah, sure, other than the, uh, like you said, the big playoff push, we will have two buck Monday when the Ports get back on Monday, which means a $2 few box tickets, $2 hot dogs, and $2 sodas. Two bucks, ladies and gentlemen. Hope to see you then. Game time is 7.05, which means gates will open at 6.05. Thanks for docking with Iron Mike and Taylor. We'll see you later.